It is 1.13 in the morning. It's now Tuesday, June 23rd, 2020. The more I keep seeing what's going on and hearing about things, the more I'm feeling that time is very, very short. Even the way I felt just before when I did a, a brief message, feels like that's not going to even matter, none of that, because things are really at a point, I think, very shortly, I think there's going to be things happening. I think probably within a couple of weeks, all this stuff going on, they're talking about another wave, and they're playing the, this up really badly. And uh, I could foresee a few weeks from now, the whole scenario could change again. I don't know. You know, the 4th of July is only a few weeks away. But I do see that as pretty likely that this doesn't have to wait very much longer for this new breakout that they're claiming is here and I think they're gonna that would bring on swift testing and it's gonna all go from there okay back down with the quarantines stricter with masks and um, but there's a whole lot of other things that it seems like are are coming together you know coming to a point here together like with all the things going on, protests, riots, getting rid of police, getting rid of law and order, um, chaos. And um, it seems like from what's been going on with, with the riots and all this protesting, that this too in a couple of weeks, you know, could start resolving itself as far as you know, reaching a point where it's it's kind of out of out of control, I guess you could say. Um, you know, there's good indications that that could be happening right at the same time here, with uh, this new rollout, this new you know alarm. And they're saying all these reports. You know, you could just see, you could just anticipate what's going to happen within a couple of weeks it's going to be you know that's it this is so bad again and you know that's it and people are going to go crazy like they they thought maybe there was a chance maybe there was a chance you know and then if this starts all over again it's going to be like forget it people are going to probably lose it in a lot of ways especially financially and uh so that's that's on the horizon too. All the other things, all the other kind of reports of possibilities of things happening, whether um, you know events, world events, or otherworldly events. You know things from the sky, things impacting the earth. So it it's really. Um, I don't know. That's just what I'm. I'm thinking and sensing. You know, think things are are, are about to. Uh, you know, come to pass here. I really, I really believe that. And it does. It does seem like the time is short. All these things, and then political, political chaos. And who knows what's going to happen with the election? If there's even going to be one. If we're still here, uh, you could just feel it in the air, like the whole world is just waiting, waiting for something. Everything is just waiting. I always liked the poem of uh, of uh, William Bates. No, strike that. William Butler Yeats, called the Second Coming. As a matter of fact, I memorized the first part of it. And if I could try to recite it here, 
it fits perfectly with the feeling and the atmosphere and, and this waiting, this sense in the air. He said, um, turning and turning in the widening gyre, the falcon cannot hear the falconer. Things fall apart. The center cannot hold. Mere anarchy is loosed upon the world. The blood-dimmed tide is loosed. And everywhere the ceremony of innocence is drowned. Surely some revelation is at hand. Surely the second coming is at hand. And then the poem goes on to talk about, in camouflage terms, the, the Antichrist rising. And then there was a line before that that said, The ceremony of innocence is drowned. The best lack all conviction, while the worst are full of passionate intensity. And then at the end he said, The darkness drops again, but now I know that twenty centuries of stony sleep were vexed to nightmare by a rocking cradle, and, w and what rough beast, beast, its hour come round at last, slouches toward Bethlehem to be born. So the, feel, the feeling that I had coming on here to do this video that came into my mind was um, like when a TV program, something happens or there's news or something that they, they cut in on the show and they say something like, you know, we interrupt this program to bring you a special bulletin or special news. Well, that's pretty much exactly how I just felt, you know, thinking about coming on here to do this video, like nothing else is going to matter. Even that song went, song went through my head. I don't know who sings it, but I do know, but I, I'm not going to try to remember, but that's the, the lyric, nothing else matters. Uh, really, nothing else matters right now but to wait here momentarily and to do what can be done to warn people and, you know, for them to be saved at the last moment here. That That's what matters. You know, any of this, uh, I don't want to say theatrics, but things going on online or things, problems or whatever, you know, all the conflicts and, and confrontations and, and the issues about salvation being only of grace and dealing with opposition to that. Since I'm not really concentrating on talking about any one thing, this just came into my mind. I was thinking of talking about this in, in a future video because I, I was watching this one video where they were just ripping apart Grace and this young guy, I don't even know his name. I mean, he had it all down. You know, he really did. He seemed so sincere. All the words, all the language, all the terms, you know, like, he like he, he heard it he heard all these terms he was just repeating them you know just against grace and he seemed so sincere everyone you know applauding him and yeah oh yeah amen yeah you're you're, you're speaking the truth you know this this evil doctrine of grace uh anyway this one person who i won't mention who it is uh, all along has been right in the circles here, right, uh, attacking the grace believers. Um, but anyway, continues to do it. And he made a comment about, you know, after the rapture, he thinks that the once saved group is going to be left here. 
and his his comment was that he hopes that when the rapture happens and all the evil once saved believers believe of that false damnable gospel of grace if they're left here he hopes that those who are in the world and remain with them um, destroy them destroy us basically rip us apart and destroy us um, you know after they're gone after the the works crowd are gone and you know, we're gonna be here they say I mean that that's what's in their hearts you know that's what's in their hearts to say something like that they wish that we'd all just be destroyed and turned on they tear us apart and that we'd be left here and have to suffer for that and pay the price of our evil and that person and all of them they have no grace they have no mercy they have no love I didn't mean to get into this here I don't want to start any more of this this nonsense like I said we're we're going to be out of here soon we're we're going to be gone all well, this isn't going to matter and it really doesn't that's what I'm feeling now you know we interrupt this program to bring you a special you know bulletin and that's that's what I'm sensing you know that's why I'm on here saying that uh, all this isn't going to matter it really doesn't to me now either because uh, there's so little time left and you know whatever nonsense goes on between now and then it's it's not going to be very much uh, there was another lovely comment by another one of these um, making a, a really horrible statement ag against another believer who um, grace believer who just had a, a problem you know coming on and asking for help and was in a really bad state and really upset and um, the comment that one of these Pharisees said left on on her channel was you know basically that's what you get for um, you know having all these false lying dreams and I don't know the exact term wording but it was like that God was punishing her um, because of that, uh, just really rotten. That's all, that's all some, I'm just going to say at least some of them know is that kind of mentality, condemnation and judgment. Um, a lot of them love the idea of judgment and I, I've been sick of that all along. They want to, you know, bring judgment down, call, call judgment down. They even would say, you know, they're, they're calling on the, on the bride to uh, call judgment down upon the world and that's because they never had it down to begin with they never called grace down they never called uh, you know love and mercy down because they don't know that even w amongst themselves you know, you know as far as never really having a, a, a clear clean conscience you know and being free from sin always trying to you know get rid of it trying to wash it off them by whatever means uh, of themselves so all they see really is the possibility of condemn condemnation and judgment and salvation being taken away and really they live in fear and doubt and bondage and all that type of thing uh, again I, I didn't mean to go off on on any of this um, it really seems that their, their hearts are just finally hardened just won't respond won't won't listen for good you know uh, it's not it's not just or primarily it, it's not about doctrine it's about the heart it really is have a changed heart you know exhibited by by your attitude and, and compassion and mercy and, and goodness and love and hope and, and all those things, not wishing that all of us who believe by God's grace, you know, will be torn to shreds and destroyed 
and and be left here and, and to suffer the e of our, for our evil, you know. Yeah, I forget who sa sang that song. It's pretty old, I think. Um, nothing else matters. I'll probably go look it up just to try to recall. I mean, I I pretty much know who it is, but just on the tip of my tongue, it doesn't matter. You know, it doesn't matter anyway. But so. Just the good news is that very, very soon you're going to be gone from here and all of this will not even be a memory. Really, it won't. And, you know, just to, it keeps it coming in my mind again about all these type of people. You know, they, they make videos and, and they, they're just hateful and laugh, they mock. You know, they, they make, they put up things just, just to mock and, and ridicule and laugh and, you know, make others put their image up in, in distorted ways and, you know, take it out of, out of context and um, make them look like clowns or whatever kind of thing they do to, to, uh, to mock them. It's really rotten. They don't see that. That's okay, I guess. You know, that's what God told them to do and called called them to do, to stand up for their their righteousness, which is a rottenness. And because their hearts are dark, it doesn't have the light of the Holy Spirit in, in it. So, so, yeah, you can see the fruits of others who claim to be believers. You could see the true true fruits or the false ones. And you could see the hearts of others very clearly. Um, you know, really, there's so many disgusting things that I could recall that I've heard these type people say in their comments. And it's just, it, it is night and day. There, There's just a night and day, total opposite um, thing about those who are truly saved and those who aren't, those who are in God's grace and those who aren't, you know, very much a, a false self-goodness. You know, that kid that I was talking about who did that video that I was just saying had everything down, so sincere, you know, they're all applauding him. Yeah, 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 you know, you're right. This is evil, this dirty grace gospel. And even saying that, you know, he had dreams, he had dreams from God. And, and God gave him the, the names of, of two people, you know, and told him that they were preaching a false gospel or whatever, that they were going to hell and leading people astray. And God told them in the dream, told him in a dream, he gave them the names, you know. I'm not going to name them. They're in the grace a group here, um, you know, that are known. Um, best way I could say is, to me, it seems like entire groups hypnotized or mind controlled. That that's how strange it looks. Like there's such a difference. Like how could these people actually be believing this? just totally, totally deceived. It's like, it's like watching people um, hypnotized or mind controlled. It really is. And it, it's taken on a personal level. That's the thing. They're ripping people apart on a personal level. And they think that's fine. That's good. That's what God told them, told them to do you know, with such hate, hate and venom, as opposed to if you're defending grace you know there is such thing as a righteous indignation but theirs is an unrighteous condemnation so if anything if anyone's hearing these words i'm not trying to get into this with all, with all of that that group but um i guess i could say maybe it'll help you feel comforted and better about maybe things that you've gone through all along, but it's it's over. It's, it really is. We don't have very much longer here to go to uh, endure this 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 demonic spirit 
against true believers. Uh, actually, actually, our voices are one of the very, very few that's even left to bring the gospel. So that's why the evil one is doing all this, okay? He wants to shut every last one up, but he's not, and he's not going to until we're out of here. The same thing goes for all the information that we could share about the truth, about anything and everything going on, especially spiritually, because um, once this goes down, once believers are gone, there, that kind of information is, is going to be gone too. You know, the whole world will just be shut off, I guess. I don't know how the internet will function or whatever information, you know. But of course, there's going to be calamities and stuff, so whatever the situation is, you know, the voices of, of truth and um, fact facts, factuality, in, in speaking out, whether it's just about worldly things or events and the truth about that or spiritual things and, and the gospel. Though there will be many, many saved during the tribulation, and no doubt from the things that others, other believers have left, have said, have spoken, that people have seen online or, or wherever told, and they'll know, they'll know it's, it's true, and they'll come to believe. So it could be very well that things are going to ramp up and uh, start, you know, things happening possibly in, in a few weeks here. And things seem to be happening suddenly, you know, suddenly. I was just watching earlier a video by this guy. I think he's a Christian. And um, he was going over like this dust heading from Africa, and it should arrive here like in a day or two or whatever. Um, um, that's pretty weird, but, you know, probably won't amount to much. But what he was talking about is that there's, he was talking about the locusts and how they're destroying, you know, really the whole world. They're, they're going everywhere and swarming and eating everything up. And he said they're they're now in South America, and he he predicts that within a month or two, they're going to migrate right up into the heartland here of the United States. So um, that's crazy too. That's another thing that possibility. Um, these swarms eating everything and just covering <laughs> the land um, in, here in the United States, and with the food situation and everything. Um, that's that's a crazy thing to imagine happening you know really these swarms coming now now this kind of thing locusts and they're not normal locusts to me they look like they're genetically engineered they're huge and they eat a lot and they reproduce um i don't know that for a fact but it they don't look real they don't look human they look like i don't know what what they look like they're like small animals not just insects so who knows what they were genetically modified with, if if they were, but they do not look like normal, normal uh, insects. Yeah, so I haven't done a video like this in a long, long time, maybe since I even came back doing videos, just talking like this. So it almost feels like the last video I did, like it doesn't even matter the things I said because time it seems like to, at least to me so short i i cheated and i looked up that song it's by metallica nothing else matters that's sort of how i feel too coming on here nothing else matters just that we're ready to leave here you know get out what you can do what you can and uh i really think there's going to be a ramping up within these two weeks here as we head into the fourth of july I really do. There's sort of like a an uneasy calm. Like you could sense it. You're waiting for something. <laughs> waiting for the storm to hit. Well, for the world, but the believers, I, I 
let's say, are going to be gone. We're going to be gone from here. This is the, la the last call for mercy for the world and spiritually. I thought of the term, uh, one last call for grace a hall. Since I never thought I'd ever get to use that, I figured I'd, I'd say it here. So um, try not to be too upset about anything going on online. Just be at peace within yourself and get the heck away from the computer if you, if you need to, you know, and just be at peace because you're not going to have to put up with this very much longer, so short. Okay, I'll end it here. That's it for now, all right?